it had a better like for some reason it had a better like rock mythology or at least one that made more sense to me in South Dakota that's like reached me more even though now I kind of look back I'm like okay actually New York has kind of a pretty it might be able to actually I, I you know I don't want to start any East Coast West Coast beef but um there's some pretty awesome <laughs> never ends well it's pretty awesome bands from New York but I think I was just a little I was a little intimidated I really had a hard time trying to figure out what to call this project because I I feel like I, a lot of do, I, I do a lot of different things like um, you know video, uh, kind of different sorts of performance, um, writing, spoken word stuff, exorcisms, uh, event planning, I mean throwing parties when I say that. I couldn't, I didn't know if I want what I wanted to go under for, for music, but I had a dream, I had a nap dream and it was I wanted it to be A-W-E, because I was like, my initials inverted. And then someone made me this necklace. And then everyone was like, oh, you should go by EMA. I was probably in some ways the last person to get the idea that I should go solo in this way. Um, everyone else had been saying it for a long time, including my band members, just be like, you should, you're kind of fronting this band. Can you just go do this now? For some reason, I was really nervous to do that for a while. I didn't want, I was scared to do that for a while. So look at all these things I've been scared of. Scared of New York, scared of, Fronting a band, a little scaredy cat. I wanted to rebel against the idea of genre, I guess, and micro genre this way. You know, I looked at I looked at things like, you know, like Elvis Costello or the White Album or something like that, where it's like there doesn't there's not a reason that I shouldn't just take whatever I want, you know, and and use it in a, in a tasteful way if I can do that. But yeah. record is Past Life Martyred Saints and it is uh, a shout out to a friend of mine in South Dakota who was went through a phase at a time where he thought he might be a reincarnation of either a saint or maybe Jesus or but I kind of like that idea like what if you know some of these people that are kind of freaks in the middle of nowhere like you know what if they are you know what if one was the you know past life martyred saint like how would they you know would they look any different from a crazy person or not you know yeah I think the the production on the record does like give a context to the lyrics for sure and sometimes I will use the production to make an idea almost more extreme I guess like um, or or you just get, just give it a different sort of tell you what context to put it in and that that can be almost it can be make it even more intense or it could even give it I think like a little bit of, of humor in this one way which I think is something that maybe gets lost in how people perceive things but um, if you look at something like butterfly knife you know, it's got like these kind of extreme, it's got like these, I mean, the thing is like people write, people say histrionic things in pop songs all the time. Like, I don't think necessarily anything that I say is that much more insane than baby I'd die for you or just whatever, you know, it's all, it's, it's constant. People are saying extreme things, but 
I think the production, it's either production or the delivery, I'm not sure which one, does make people really interested in like how much is true, what is this about, like, or it takes, it takes them back, which, you know, means it's, to me it means it's effective. But, okay, going back to something like Butterfly Knife, it's like, you know, that, that song is like from the point, of, like, the point of view of like a dramatic teenager. And so the production on there is going to reflect that. It's like all blown out, it's a million different things, and people are screaming and yelling, you know. And so that's, to me, that almost gives it, it lets you know that I'm self-aware about what it is, or it, tr it gives you a clue. Um, same thing on something like Anteroom, where it's like, you know, this is like a this is like a grunge demo. I'm going to let you know that I'm aware of that, and it's kind of like I, I use I, I use production in a way that that is exciting to me. But as far as it also gives clues, you know, and I think that the you know even the production on Marked is being kind of like this '60s girl group type of thing. It's like I'm I guess I'm trying to let you know that even though these things are extreme, like I'm also I'm aware. It it, it clues you into a, I think a little bit of self awareness. I would hope so. I think I'm gonna figure out uh, limits of things quick, maybe, but um, it feels nice to be pressed towards what my potential would be. You know, like there's a lot of work to be done, but that, while that is, instead of that being completely stressful, I also find it exhilarating to be like, you know, what all can I do? Um, so I'm just everything is still still a little bit ex you know still exciting What's up? This is EMA, and you are watching Babel Music. Shot every time he touched me.